Um, hi guys, welcome back to Singapore Math Tutors. I'm Jia Yuan. So in this video, we're going to do the next part of the question. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, uh, we know that y is inversely proportional to square of x. So the next question is that given that y is equals 25 and x is equal to half, they want you to find the equation connecting y and x. So I told you that first we have to write down this when they say that y is inversely proportional to square of x, right? So in part b, using this information here, yeah, they want you to find the equation connecting y and x. So what, what is obvious here that you have to find? It's obvious that you have to find k, right? Because k, we learned it just now uh, in, in the previous videos that uh, k is a constant, means it is a, a number, okay, that, that uh, there's a constant for this equation. So, and they're giving you some information here that y is equal to 25 and x is equal to half. Okay, so what you do is simply just plug in the values 25 and half. So, uh, personally, I don't like to write it like that, like half square, because it's, it looks very clumsy and sometimes uh, students make mistakes, um, very silly mistakes. They, they suddenly take out the maybe the half like that square and then k. So, you know, uh, I, I, I just change the decimal for, for, for convenience sake. So I have this k like that, 25 over 4. Okay, that's not the end yet because you need to write out the equation. Okay, this will give you the final mark. Okay, if you just find k, you won't get the answer. Okay, so you need to find, uh, you need to write out the whole equation. So k is twenty five uh, over four. So x square like that. Okay. Okay. Then the next part is that find the value of x when y equals to 400. So since you have found this equation connecting x and y, and then you are given that y is 400, you simply just substitute in 400, okay? Then you find x here. So x squared is equal to this, and then if you square root it, remember to put plus minus. It's very important, okay? square rooting you must always put plus minus if not your answer is wrong if you just write 1 over 8 okay it's completely wrong all right okay so with this formula in mind y equals to 25 over 4x squared they give you now another even more challenging question so 25 over 4x squared so in the next part c they want you to sketch the graph, okay, that represents the relationship between y and x. Yeah, so what you have here is like a y, if you can remember, recall, y equals to 1 over x squared curve. How do they look like? If you have done the graphing chapter, you should know that it looks like that and like that. So basically, this is this is the, the graph that, that, that they want. They're asking you to sketch it, so you just sketch it. Okay, you don't need to... Um, there's no need to draw any points or anything here. Just sketch uh, something like that will do. But why is it shaped like that? Have you wonder or like, uh, if you haven't done the graphing chapter yet, okay, maybe I'll just do a brief explanation here. Okay, so um, this is like a y equals to one over x square, right? So why isn't there any graph here in the first place? Okay, because when x square is negative y is always positive right if i put x square like 4 x square uh, minus 4 x square it is 1 over uh, 16 right y is equals to 1 over 16 right so therefore you the graph will never exist here okay instead it will only only exist at this part on top then why does the graph look like that Okay, it is actually quite interesting because this is like an exponential kind of thing, right? Because as you see, as, as, I, um, as x becomes um, bigger, okay, minus 4, minus 5, minus 10, you know, minus 100, okay? It, it actually 
y value actually becomes like really, really small, right? But it doesn't cut the x axis, it never cuts the x axis, okay? Never cuts the x axis because you can never have uh, 1 over 0, correct? Your x can never be 0, okay? And y can also never be zero x or y or x axis both axis you can't cut it it just tends towards it it's like nearing it okay say like you put one over like 10 to the power of like 100 to your calculator it is almost zero but it's not zero so take note when you draw it do not draw it uh in a way that it cuts the it sh it so cuts the y axis show that it tends towards the y axis and x axis okay it tends toward it but it doesn't cut it okay this is very important so um i hope uh this helps and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you